stay close. He's not gonna listen at all. Welcome to update number four. I got here. Absolutely clueless. In the last update, I think I told you that we were almost done filming and I was completely lying. We filmed what, 20%? <laughs> had 80% left to film, which is great. That went by really quick. We started shooting at our new house in this garage. Melissa brought in um, a good friend of hers, Joe Sabatino, who became a puppeteer for us uh, while Amanda was gone, and he absolutely knocked it out of the park. come back. There were two other puppets that had been made. The old man and the worker. Um, so the old man and the worker are the same body and the heads have been changed and of course the outfits have been changed but that allowed us to have two puppets kind of uh, for the price of one. Hey come here. She's just eating shit. She's fine. It's fine. She's she's fine. Here she comes, see? We had to do some mountain climbing scenes. I thought the climbing scenes turned out awesome, considering that the whole time we basically were just climbing on that little section back there. Is the dog still around? Totally fine, she's doing great. Hi. I'm voiceover artist, Victor Yeah. <laughs> so we were super lucky in the voiceover department because we had no idea who was going to play them. Uh, we knew Matt was going to voice some of them. There is a town. Somewhere. But we were really, really lucky to get Victor and Yuri to come in and do the voiceovers for us. Hmm. Meyer, isn't it? They're two people that we have heard basically our entire lives doing voices for various things. We have a visitor, it seems. I found this flyer. Ah, I know it well. It seems to have found a good home in you. And it was quite an honor to have them be able to be a part of the film. Matt, of course, did post-production, uh, which only took him maybe a few hours. <laughs> 780, maybe a thousand hours of post-production. It was insane. So when we were filming the green screen, I would say that we might not have taken the correct precautions in thinking about how well it would key out. So not only did Matt have to work on the green screen in post-production, he was also color correcting, making the music, which turned out phenomenal. Most of you guys have probably heard the rain theme a little bit, but he added a lot of variations to that and a lot of other music to go along with it, which is gorgeous. Rain is done. All in all, it's been a really good experience and very, very, very challenging. But really glad that uh, just a few of us could pull something off like that. Really excited for you guys to see it. Hopefully that is relatively soon. Was that okay? Oh, look at poor Bonnie. Oh, she's so sad. She's mad because I called her out on eating feces. Mm.